So, third one find the equation of the locus of the locus which is equidistant from from two points two comma three and four comma five. Now let us find out this problem. Here we have to find out the equation of the locus which is equidistant from these two points. So, let us draw figure like this. Suppose this P x 1 comma y 1 be any point on the locus given two points say a 2 comma 3 b 4 comma 5. Here equidistant means the distance from P to A is same as distance from P to B that means P A equals to P B. So, now solution P A is equal to P B. So, now using distance formula P A equals to root over x 1 minus 2 whole square plus y 1 minus 3 whole square equals to same applying distance formula to find out P B x 1 minus 4 whole square plus y 1 minus 5 whole square. So, now again squaring on both sides we get x 1 minus 2 whole square plus y 1 minus 3 whole square equals to x 1 minus 4 whole square plus y 1 minus 5 whole square. Let us simplify left hand side and right hand side. Now, x 1 square minus 4 x 1 plus 4 y 1 square minus 6 y 1 plus 9 equals to x 1 square minus 8 x 1 plus 16 plus y 1 square minus 10 y 1 plus 25. So, now arrange the terms of left hand side as well as arrange the terms of right hand side x 1 square plus y 1 square minus 4 x 1 minus 6 y 1 plus 13 9 plus 4 x 1 square plus y 1 square minus 8 x 1 minus 10 y 1 25 plus 16 everybody knows that is 41. Now, this x 1 square x 1 square gets cancelled y 1 square y 1 square gets cancelled. Now, bring these three terms this side now. So, we get eight x one minus four x one plus ten y one minus six y one plus thirteen minus forty one equals to zero. That implies four x one plus four y one minus twenty eight is equal to zero. Divide by 4. So, now we get x 1 plus y 1 
minus 7 is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation to the locus of p x 1 comma y 1 is x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0. Do you know what you call x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0? This x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0 represents a linear equation in x and y. A linear equation x and y always represents a straight line. Here locus is a straight line. So, next problem number 4. Let a 3 comma minus 4, b 2 comma 7, then find the equation of the locus, locus such that p a square plus p b square equals to 6. So, for this one here given a 3 comma minus 4 and b 2 comma 7. And in this problem actually directly condition is given. So, as for this condition we have to find out equation to the locus. That means, the point suppose if you say p x 1 comma y 1 the point on the locus that is satisfying the condition p a square plus p b square is equal to 6. So, now let us write the condition p a square plus p b square is equal to 6. Now, once again say this point is p say x 1 comma y 1 already we know that a 3 comma minus 4 b 2 comma 7. Here p a square is the square of the distance p b square is also square of the distance square of the distance means while applying the distance formula we need not write the square root directly we can write the square root directly we can apply the here distance from formula without square root. So, now here p a square x 1 minus 3 whole square plus y 1 plus 4 whole square plus p b square means here x 1 minus 2 whole square plus y 1 minus 7 whole square equals to 6. Just we have to simplify this one now. So, x 1 square minus 6 x 1 plus 9 y 1 square plus 8 y 1 plus 16 x 1 square minus 4 x 1 plus 4 plus y 1 square minus 14 y 1 plus 49 equals to 6. First let us rearrange the terms of the here left hand side x 1 square plus x 1 square 2 x 1 square. Now, y 1 square y 1 square 2 y 1 square minus 6 x 1 minus 4 x 1 minus 10 x 1 8 y 1 minus 14 y 1 minus 6 y 1. Now, constants here this is 49 plus 4 53, 53 plus 16 is 69, this is 68 equals to 6. Bring 6 this side. 2 x 1 square plus 2 y 1 square minus 10 x 1 
minus 6 y 1 plus 62 equals to 0 divide by 2. So, we get x 1 square plus y 1 square minus 5 x 1 minus 3 y 1 plus 31 equals to 0. Now, required equation of the locus. Therefore, the equation to the locus of p x 1 comma y 1 is x square plus y square minus 5 x minus 3 y plus 31 equals to 0.